And welcome back. We got 644 right now on this Thursday morning. Check out this time lapse from the Magi River in South Superior. This tells the story of what we've been seeing here over the last few days. You can see this runs from April 1st to April 12th. You can see all that snow melt here as we head through the last few days and then it really begins to rise quite rapidly as you head towards the end of that time lapse. Now let's take a look at river levels all across the region right now. This is the Mississippi River at Aiken. You can see that's forecasted to begin to enter action and minor flood stage here as we head through the day today, then beginning to crest as we head towards Saturday and Sunday into moderate flood stage. Now moving down into northwest Wisconsin, we're also keeping an eye on the Bad River near Odena. That's forecasted to crest into minor to moderate flood stage as we head through the next, say, 24 to 36 hours. Then the Tyler Forks River near Mellon. That's actually going into major flood stage. That's forecasted to crest here also within the next, say, 24 to 36 hours. Right now, we do have flood warnings all across the South Shore. We do have a flood warning for the Black River near Gogebic County, also the Tyler Forks River, and as well as the Bad River near Bad River near Odena, as well as a flood warning up for the vast majority of the Bayfield Peninsula for all those in river tri rivers and tributaries down there, just because we are still talking about them rising right now. A flood advisory is up for the vast majority of the southern portions of the region. That goes until 1230 this afternoon, but I would not be surprised to see that continue just because, yes, while the, while the temperatures are going down, we are talking about rain as we head towards this weekend. Also on the Minnesota side of things, we have a flood watch right now in place for the St. Louis River near Scanlon, as well as a flood watch for the Mississippi River near Aiken. So a lot to talk about here with this flooding situation as we continue to see snow melt all across the region. Temperatures right now still fairly warm enough to support snow melt. Most of us are generally talking about the upper 30s as well as the lower 40s. Most of us looking at those mainly sunny skies overhead. A few more clouds the further north you head up towards Orr as well as International Falls. That's also where we have the opportunity to see a few more rain showers through the day today. Speaking of that rain shower activity, you can see it here on Futurecast. Generally across the far northern portions of our area up towards northern portions of St. Louis County as well as Kuchiching County. Also you can see here on Futurecast, we're definitely going to be cooler by the lake today. 30s and 40s lakeside, 50s the further inland you go, especially 50s across northern Minnesota. Then the further south you go, approaching the 60s and even the 70s once again. The Twin Cities, they're probably going to make a run towards that 80 degree mark again. As we head towards tomorrow, most of us waking up with partly to mostly sunny skies overhead. However, as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, there is the opportunity for a few stray rain showers here and there, especially on the Minnesota side of things. But those rain showers really don't look to produce all that much rain. The best opportunity for rain for all of us, that's going to arrive here as we head towards Saturday. You even see those yellows, oranges, and reds. That's indicating moderate to even heavy rain at times. Maybe even a few rumbles of thunder embedded in there. Then as we head towards Saturday afternoon as well as Saturday evening, some of that rain going to change over to mixed precipitation as well as a little bit of snow. Doesn't look like that snow should really accumulate all that much because we are talking about fairly warm conditions still all across the Northland. In terms of rain for the day today, most of that rain limited across northern Minnesota up towards the international border where they could pick up maybe two to three tenths of an inch in some places. We really do not add all that much rain for our day tomorrow. Most of the rain, as we mentioned, should fall for our day here on Saturday when most places across the Northland pick up between a quarter and three quarters of an inch of rain. Now your forecast for today. Today we're talking about 40s closer to Lake Superior, 60s and 70s the further south you go. Up here on the Minnesota side of things, 40s along the Lake Superior shoreline, then 50s up towards the Iron Range as well as the international border, down towards Hinkley possibly approaching that 70 degree mark once again. And now look at that seven day forecast. We have that lake breeze for Thursday and Friday. We're all gonna be cooler though as we head towards this weekend. The opportunity for rain showers for today on Saturday, a little bit of mixed precipitation for today on Sunday. Then we're gonna get warmer and milder and sunnier as we head towards next week. Paul?